Hello, girls and boys. Welcome to Storytime Fun. We hope you enjoy it. Today's story is called Clifford's Family, written by Norman Bridwell. I'm Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog. His name is Clifford. We live in a small town now, but we were both born in the city. One day, we went back to visit our old home in the city. Clifford hadn't seen his mother since he was a little puppy. She hardly knew him. <laughs> she still treated him like a puppy. She checked his teeth and she looked in his ears to see if he had been washing them. Good mummy. The man told us where Clifford's brother and sisters lived. We went to find them. Clifford's sister Claudia lived nearby. She was taking her owner for a walk. We went to the park with them. A taxi was blocking the crosswalk. Clifford took care of that. <laughs> Next, we found his brother, Nero. Nero was a rescue dog at a fire station. While we were there, the alarm rang. We followed the fire truck. Nero rushed into the building. Clifford helped him. Nero was very brave. Then we set off to the country. Clifford's other sister, Bonnie, was a farm dog. One of Bonnie's jobs was to herd sheep into their pen. Clifford wanted to do some farm work, too. He started to drive the cows toward the barn. One of the cows was a bull. And bulls don't like the color red. Clifford wasn't scared. He was smart. He didn't want to hurt the bull, so he jumped out of the way. And <laughs> when Clifford jumps, he really jumps. <laughs> we had one more place to visit. It was Clifford's father's home in a town nearby. The house was small, and there were a lot of kids playing in the yard. Clifford's father didn't have a collar, or a dog dish, or a dog house, but he seemed very happy. I guess it was the kids. He sure loved kids. He was a lot like Clifford, just a little smaller. <laughs> Clifford wished his family could come and live with us. But they all had people who needed them. Just as I need Clifford, the best dog of all. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you next time.